a while back, uh, we're working heavy equipment operator, and they start laying everybody off. And um, we lost lost my insurance. I got sick on the job, and um, I went to try to get some help. And some of the friends say go to uh, to a help partner, and they can help you out. And so I came here. I think it was last year, year before last, I think it was. And they really helped me. I can't happen no better. I mean, they really, really, really helped me out. They got me into NIH, and I had a heart stent. I didn't have a heart attack, but I did have a blockage. It was a 90% blockage. And if they hadn't done that, I probably would have died. Well, they, you know, they steered me in, in, the, in the right direction to, to, to get uh, you know, to take better care of myself. Before I came to start coming here, I was in so much pain I couldn't even go, go to bed at night. I couldn't sleep. I was up all night. And I kind of the pain in my back and everything. And I just couldn't put up with it. They worked with me and controlled my blood pressure. And the only problem I have, they're working with me with my rheumatologist in both of my hands. Health Partners was designed to take care of the uninsured residents of Charles County. We provide primary health care services. In addition to that, we also do pediatric dental for ages 10 and under. Health Partners is um, an organization that gives free care. Um, it's all uh, volunteer um, to help people in need that uh, need health care. And in today's economy with so many people and young children that don't have dental, and aren't seen by doctors, it's a place to go and get that care. I've been a patient before without insurance and I know how hard it is when you have to make the decision between should I try and get help or should I not? So now that I'm not in that situation anymore, I like to be there to help people who don't have those resources or who have to ask those kind of questions as far as whether or not they're gonna get help or not. Because at least now they have a way that they can get help too many people out there that don't have insurance and certainly cannot afford dental care. Dental care is very expensive and we need some place for people to go. To cover the dental services helps them to get ahead of, uh, you know, the difficulty that they may have financially with paying for dental services and then it also allows for them to understand the importance of preventive care and that is always less expensive so our hope is that they would reach out and, and continue to get services even if they don't qualify for health partners. Uh, we have participated in education programs where we go into the school rooms and actually sit down and teach dental hygiene, give a 15 minute pre presentation on how to brush your teeth and involve the kids. Uh, I've gone in and presented programs to the teachers of the schools. We have a core of volunteer nurses, volunteer dental hygienists, uh, volunteer pharmacists, volunteer doctors, uh, volunteer administrative people, and general volunteers who do exciting things like uh, uh, punch pillows out of those dreadful little packages. <laughs> the service is more personable, you spend more time with those patients. Um, you, it doesn't feel like a revolving door. I started back in about 1999, 2000. The person I was teaching with, my boss, had encouraged us to do community service. So Health Partners was here and it had a big need and as a nurse I know I can make a difference in these folks' lives that doesn't have the insurance in order to get them to the doctor's offices. I originally chose to volunteer here. My mother told me about it and I came in right after I graduated nursing school unable to find a job in nursing um, just to keep my experience up and volunteer my time with the community. All children should be able to have no pain in their mouth. It's very hard to learn and to function in society if your teeth hurt. And so I'm able to volunteer, so 
I choose to uh, volunteer here at Health Partners. Uh, Chrissy uh, recruited me and I came and interviewed and viewed the facility and felt that this was something I really wanted to be involved with. And, uh, my wife and I have been associated with Health Partners. She is a, uh, the president of the board of directors here, Carol Wright. And uh, that drew me into some of the activities here. The main one that I got interested in was the uh, dental clinic. In 2007 and 2008, they did a build out of the dental clinic here, and then they were the recipients of a transportable dental chair, which uh, Dr. Kathleen Stellings kind of uh, oversaw, and uh, I'm not helped with that. Uh. Got involved with Health Partners when uh, Sister Michaeline and Sister Gladys came to my original office. Um, I came in one evening after patients were done, and Sister Michaeline sat across the desk from me and said, "Don't you think we need to have a clinic to provide health care for the unfortunate people who can't afford it in this community?" And I said, "Well, yeah, I think it's a good idea." And she just sat there until. It was clear that not only was it a good idea, but I would participate in that good idea. <laughs> um, I, I saw an ad in the newspaper looking for volunteers, and I called the clinic, and I spoke to Tim Brown, and I came in for an interview, and that's how it got going. I actually started with Health Partners as a volunteer for the fundraising committee, and I did that for two years, and then I learned about a position that came open here, and then I applied. First of all, they can come in and um, meet Chrissy um, and help out with giving either volunteering or donations. Um, I think donations is the main cause because then we can do more supplies to help out. Anybody on the outside that wants to volunteer here, there's a lot of opportunities. Um, a lot of people at the front are, are, are volunteers. Um, if somebody was interested in getting the clinical side, it'd be great to have somebody come in here and be an assistant, because we can teach them what to do. Health Partners needs financial support to continue providing these services. In addition to that, we could use medical supplies, dental supplies, office supplies. You know, we appreciate anything anyone has to give. The only other place uh, people could go would be to the local hospital emergency room, which puts a real uh, tax on their financial burden. Uh, when patients or when people and residents of a community are healthy, they work, they are contributing to society. When patients are ill, they aren't able to contribute, they aren't able to work. So Health Partners keeps the residents of Charles County healthy and keeps them contribu to contributing to society. Well, if we didn't have Health Partners, the local hospital would have increased um, occupancy and also a great deal more emergency room calls. But overall, I would say that they're so grateful. Yeah. And we tried in every way we could to make this place, uh, you know, at least comparable to the doctor's offices and so forth, so that they don't feel like they're being dished out something. Please look deeply into your, into your hearts and your souls and, and make whatever contribution you can to health partners, knowing that, that every penny that you give will go a great distance to helping the citizens in Charles County who are truly in need. Please support health partners with your financial contributions. We'll appreciate anything you're able to give. Please help us today. Thank you very much. Thank you.